math ain't mathing. Okay, shit not adding up. You had to be talking to her while you was talking to me. What? Do I look stupid to you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, your favorite beauty, Vanessa V. You can already tell by the title today. It's a story time. I wanted to do story times. I love them. I love Life with Lana story times, Jimmy P story times, um, Aaliyah Ali. Love them. So I'm like, you know what? Let me do one. So today, story is about my fuckboy experience. Like everybody has a fuckboy experience because they're just little cockroaches on the earth they're every damn where everywhere you go here they are so yeah let's just get into the story okay honey so setting the scene um we originally met in 20 i want to say either 2015 2016 meet him and i met and we're gonna call him chris we're gonna name him chris so me and chris met in like 2015 2016 somewhere right up in there whatever yeah, i remember what day it was it was halloween so basically where i used to live at all the high school students and whatnot would go on this main strip yeah that was the thing to do i don't know why but it was the thing to do to go on this one street on this one strip and for everybody to walk down up and down the one street which was kind of stupid but whatever we did it. we're walking back up this way and my group of friends we're gonna call one of them like triple d so triple d she was like really well known y'all know y'all have those people in the city that's really really well known that's like instagram popping or whatever got hella instagram followers and stuff like that she was like that that type of person for like our city and our group so yeah she knew everybody but everybody knew everybody because they all grew up together so we're walking up or whatever and we meet this group of dudes now mind y'all i'm still pretty new so i don't really know anybody like I only been out here for like two weeks. I, I don't know. But for real, I really didn't know nobody. So like, I'm just standing there like, while they're like conversating or whatever, because they all grew up together. They knew one another. Woo, 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 woo. So everybody was saying, hey, how you doing? Woo, woo, woo. I didn't know nobody. The only people that I knew, I knew like three of the boys because they went to my school, but I didn't know them. I just knew of them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I knew of them and whatnot. And I, I personally, I gave them the nickname, the Hose of the Hill. The hoes of the hill. Yes. Them and I knew all three of those dudes was some hoes. So I'm like, he gotta be a hoe too. This is Halloween. I look at him. This boy has on a t-shirt. And I'm, and I'm just like, everybody else is dressed up. Like, none of the boys dressed up. Why was that? But anyway, so I saw him. He looking at me. I'm looking at him. In my mind, I'm like, okay, yeah, he kind of cute. Like, he's an average type of cute. He's not like overly cute. He's average type of cute. So I'm like, okay. Hmm. and then he told me his name i told him my name and that was about it but i saw him like looking me up and down but again y'all he was with the group the hoes of the hill so i just knew he was a hoe too and then everybody walked off and dispersed my friend triple d she told me i knew well, no, no 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 what happened was as i looked at her and she was like oh you think chris is cute and i'm like yeah chris is real cute or whatever and she's like yeah he a hoe and i'm like figured that much eventually we got one um one another snapchat and instagram but i think we really like communicated uh via snapchat so especially like with streaks and like swiping up on one another stories like that type of shit but this story takes place in 2018 so we didn't really pay one another no mom when we first met again he was swiping my stuff I would swipe up on his stuff, like, you cute, you cute, but nothing really happened. I don't know why we never, but we just never really, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, but fast forward to 2018. So, at this point, I had my first job. I Y'all, my first job was Subway, yes. So, I was at Subway or whatever, and just randomly, he walked in, and he was like, what's up? And I was like, what's up? So, again, 2016, he was, like, kind of cute, but 2018, Chris? 2018, Chris? Oh, yeah. I was feeling him. I was like, okay, I see you. He was fine, y'all. He was cute. I mean, like, he was tatted up. Uh, he had a clean cut. Y'all, I like clean cuts, personally. He had a really nice smile. At this point, he's taller than me now. Like, he's really cute. Like, 
Mm. Real, real tasty, tasty, real, real good. good. That's mm. exactly what that he was giving. Apple. So I'm like, damn, he kind of he glue up, he fine or whatever. Okay, cool. Either way, he was like, you need to hit me up or whatever, and you need to stop playing games because I think he did try to talk to me back in 2016, but I really didn't pay him no mind because like you a hoe, the fuck. Like I'm not stupid. Obviously, I was stupid. Back up or whatever, hit me up on Snap, and yeah. So that either later that day or sometime that week or whatever, I hit him back up, and we just get to conversating. Basically, we just talking, and we exchange numbers. At this point, we were like texting each other, we sending each other like pictures and memes. When I say pictures, just like funny pictures, shit like that. Nothing. No. And just you know, talking, conversating, woo 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 woo. So let's get into the fuckboy part of the situation. So again, my friend tell me, Triple D, she told me, okay, Ness, but he's a hoe. So my other friend, we gonna call her Puff. Puff told me too, she was like, listen, like he's really cute and everything, but he's a hoe, Ness. Like he does this with every girl. Like he talks to girls and he try to, you know, get with girls, trying to fuck girls basically. And that's it, like don't, don't think you special, basically. She was like, don't don't think you special, poo. But me and her had that type of relationship where it's like she would tell me the truth and it's like, damn, she right. Okay, cool. You feel me? Um, like I said, Triple D, she told me. Um, this other girl, we gonna call her Trinity. Trinity told me. A whole bunch of girls just told me basically, like, Ness, he's a hoe, stop. Like, don't or don't get in your feels, like, don't do nothing stupid, or you're gonna regret, basically. But they didn't not tell me to be or talk to him that just was like don't be stupid oh so fast forwarding we're talking we're conversating we're texting at this point we're in the talking stage if you're in my generation you already know like men love the talking stage love the talking stage i'm gonna just give y'all some red flags okay first red flag just randomly y'all this was my first job or whatever so i was working i was getting cute or whatever and i just decided randomly one day to get my nails done i was like you know let me get my nails done i stayed with my nails done during that summertime because i had nothing else really to spend my money on for real for real for real so let me get my nails done so i guess my nails done obviously i show him i sent him a picture or whatever this boy literally said to me he said oh that looks like something my grandma would get and laughed at me he literally legitimately laughed at me and said that is something that my grandma would get those are ugly Ciao. that one after that little red flag i was i stopped talking to him i was like fuck that fuck him Ugh. he want to be like that fine so i stopped talking to him literally for a day girl ain't shit so after like me and him would have little arguments and between these little arguments i would stop talking to him and he would hit me up like what's up and if i wouldn't respond back he wouldn't hit me up for the whole day that's red flag number two red flag number three is like i said we used to be caked up on the phone literally after i got out of school i would call him doing homework i'm on the face i'm on facetime with him calling him so everybody in my family knew like I was talking to somebody but especially my sister so yeah my sister did not like him at all she hated him she hates his guts if i like literally was to call her up right now she'd be like i can't fucking stand him he gets on my fucking nerves i'm mad that you even did anything with him i told you not to i told you he wasn't shit he never was gonna be shit my sister hated his guts so, so one day he was like oh come I think I was at work. He was like, when you get off of work, come swing by my bro house because that's who he lived with, his brother. So I'm like, okay, whatever, cool, like, whatever, I don't care. So I swing by his brother's house and we were just walking around, like, nothing, like, whatever. And that was not our first time, like, it was kind of our first time hanging out in person, kind of, sort of, but not for real, for real, but kind of. And basically to end the night, I was walking him home. If you're, you should be, don't walk a nigga home. What's wrong with Chip? But yeah, I was walking him home, and um, yeah, he came in for a kiss, and we kissed. Say this, I was not looking for a kiss. I did not think this boy was gonna kiss me. I didn't think we were at that, honestly, I didn't think we were at that level yet for him to be kissing me or for me to be kissing him. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, we wasn't there. So I'm like, I, I didn't expect it. Like, I really didn't expect him to kiss me, but he did. So when he went in for the kiss, I'm geeked up because I like him. Like, I'm like, oh yeah, 
hell yeah, I like him. He fine as shit. He about to put he about to put this thing on me. You feel me? Even though it was just a kiss. And then on top of that, I'm like, he's had more experience than I had because my job, I, I didn't have like. I don't be in and out of relationships. I don't do the relationship type of thing. I barely do the talking thing. You feel me? So he's had more like experience than I have. So I'm like, this I've always heard girls talk about like how, you know, kisses have been like so magical and it's just this magical experience. I anticipated this kiss to be something so magical and so real. I anticipated this kiss to be fireworks. I anticipated this kiss to be butterflies in my stomach. I anticipated this kiss to be everything. I'm like, this is about to be the best kiss ever. To get this magical experience of this magical ass kiss. And it wasn't that. It was not that. It actually was terrible. I was geeked because it's like, okay, I like him. And now it's confirmed that he liked me like that. Because I knew for a fact, like, I liked him heavily. But it, I didn't know if he liked me heavily. Especially because he was, like, really mean to me, Loki. Now that I think about it, he was actually really mean to me. And I just didn't know. Like, you know how you're just, y'all in that stuck phase of, like, yeah, we're talking. But we're not together. But we can't be talking to other people, Loki type of thing you know that awkward weird phase that nobody should go through because you should not be in the talking phase but yeah that's another video but y'all that kiss was horrible hopefully chris don't kiss like that no more it was terrible it was horrible it was horrible your honor really really bad your honor like it was really bad like i hated it after that i hit my homegirl hit puff up i'm like we kiss bitch ah we kiss i'm so happy oh she's like yay go nest i'm so happy for you yeah 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 whoa 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 whoa, whoa. Um, we just was talking and hanging out, doing the same shit that we was doing um, before. And then just randomly another day, I went to go hang out with him or whatever. So, yeah. I went to go hang out with him at his brother's house. Anyways, I walk in or whatever. And this is my first time going inside his brother's house or whatever. So, we going inside the brother's house. I say hey to the brother. I'm like, hey, how are you? I was kind of mad because the brother fine as hell and I would have preferred the brother over him. But we're not going to talk about that today. We're not going to talk about that today, babe. We're not going to talk about that today, babe. Yeah, so I was a little mad. But the brother was like way older than me, like way older. So I probably didn't have a chance with the brother. But yeah, the brother was cute as hell. So. Okay, so I say hey to the brother and then the brother has a dog or whatever and I'm just petting the dog or whatnot and there I'm petting the dog I'm paying attention to the dog he's over there on the couch sitting there looking at me petting at this dog or whatever and he makes the he makes the comment oh you're paying the dog more attention than me and I said well the dog is cuter than you and then his brother laughed that's how I know the brother was still there at this I think the brother left so it was just me and him and then we're just talking or whatever and I took a Snapchat real quick, like a picture real quick, and I put it on my story. Dumb bitch, stupid. So that was so stupid now that I think about it. Like that was so dumb. Be <sighs> He's just talking, we conversated. Nothing happened, nothing happened that night. Nothing, I wanna reiterate that, nothing happened. Eventually I went home, I was like so geeked up, like all my little hormones going crazy. I'm like, oh, he likes me, woo woo woo. Uh, right oh, I like him and then the kiss happened and then from there I'm like oh yeah he does he got to like me because who would kiss a person that they don't like who would stay on the phone with a person that they don't like who would FaceTime and call a person that they don't like who would fall asleep on the phone with the person that they don't like you know who men cuz y'all are weird Heaked up in my head I'm like hell yeah bitch the motherfucker, he about to ask me to be his girlfriend in like a month or two. Like, this ain't nothing. Like, he about, it's, the girlfriend question is right around the corner, babe. The next day, people peeped it from my story. And they were like, oh, you were with so-and-so. And I'm like, nah, we ain't together. Like, we just, like, on some chill shit. We just talking right now type of vibe type of thing. They're like, oh, y'all so cute. They, they was really gaslighting me, I feel like. I feel like uh, some of them girls, like, was really like, oh, y'all so cute. Ha, 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 ha. But in reality, they knew what was really going on like he's the whole Vanessa if I did not post that Snapchat nobody would have known that we were together mind he did not post me not once he did not talk about me not once he didn't do shit like nothing like not at all nothing 
nothing when i say dry i mean dry like nothing he did not post me no picture he didn't even put she's so beautiful with some heart eyes or something just to let the folks know like yeah nothing but me being a dummy that i am i still posted the picture however i did peep i'm like he didn't post me not once never ever has this boy posted me so i deleted it the fuck i'm not that damn dumb so yeah hey i already know it i was like yeah girlfriend questions right around the corner we about to be booed up we look so cute together which we did i'm not gonna flex like we didn't look cute together because we definitely did because i'm cute he's cute duh the next incident that really happened was my birthday so again we started talking around summertime the very end of summer mind y'all my birthday is september 16th and the date matters so keep that in mind my birthday is september 16th and um i had my birthday party that weekend um i think my birthday fall on like a thursday that year or a friday i think it was like a thursday that year but yeah i had my birthday party that weekend that saturday but either way leading up to my birthday i'm on because y'all my job we're on the phone together all the time either on the phone facetime texting we're always doing something some type of communication he got to do something or me being in school aka that means we would text one another but you know what i'm saying for the most part we was always in some type of communication. Leading up to my birthday, I'm having this conversation multiple times leading up to my birthday. But I finally decided on that year that I wanted to have a dinner. So I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna have a dinner with me and my friends. Okay, cool. I asked him at first, but I'm like, you know what? After talking to one of my friends, they're like, Ness, you never know. Just ask him, like, it's no big deal of asking him. Plus, y'all been talking for a little minute, like, just ask him to come. I was like, you know what? You're right. Let me just ask him. So I asked him or whatever, and he was, like, being very, like, nonchalant and, like, not really. I feel like he really didn't take me seriously. And I'm just like, what do you mean? Like, what the fuck? So I asked him or whatnot. He was like, yeah, maybe, but I might have something going on. Uh, woo, 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 woo. Mind y'all, that initial time I asked him, he didn't know what he had going on, but he just thought he would have something going on. And then we talked again about it, um, or whatever leading up again to my birthday. And he was like, oh yeah, I gotta um, take care of my grandma. She's coming out of surgery or whatever. I gotta take care of my grandma. And I was like, okay, where does your grandma, like where does your grandma stay? Because you can leave for like an hour or two and then come back. Like I'm not asking for a whole day together. None of that. So he was like, oh, she lives in, I think he said Greensboro. If you know North Carolina, like, the distance between like Greensville or Greensboro from like Durham. He was like, yeah, but it's not for sure. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. Uh. So then my birthday comes or my birthday dinner comes. And um, at this point it's me, my sister and like two of my friends and we're still waiting on the rest of my party. So, or our party or whatever. Um, so yeah, we're waiting and I call him up and I'm like, hey, like, do you think you're coming or you know what's going on? So he FaceTimed me. He was like, see, I am with my girl. Cause I, I, I call, I was like, I'm calling bullshit basically. So he points the camera to his grandma or was it his mom? It was somebody chat and he point the camera to his mom grandma whomever and he was like look i am with her la, 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 and all this bullshit he was like i can't come because da, 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 da. and i'm like you know whatever and like my sister could tell that i was like really upset about it because it's like i've been talking about this leading up to my birthday and then on my birthday i got a happy birthday and that was about it and i'm just like that's it nonetheless i had my birthday dinner it was cool and then after birthday dinner we took pictures so if you don't know now you know um i had my, one of my homeboys was there roro and i took a picture with roro if i can find it i'll put it up here but basically roro was in the back and he was hugging me like this like um I don't know how to explain it. His arms was around me and I leaned, like I was leaning into him and we were like real, we were real cute, real sexual, low key. It was just real cute, real like. You would think we were together if you just saw a picture or just saw us doing that. You would think, oh, they must be in a Well, I post that picture, like, cause duh, that's my birthday picture. So I post that picture um, with my other pictures. And my y'all, I didn't really know that he was gonna get upset about it. Like, I kind of figured he would have been a little mad but I didn't think he would genuinely get like upset about it. So I post that picture and it was a whole situation. He was like, what is this? 
da 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 you want you all up against him who is that you talking about you just got homeboys but you being this type of person you talking about you not that type of girl but look at you all types of shit just talking out the side of his neck so i'm like boy if you don't get the fuck up off my phone with that bullshit i know something babe i know something so we stopped talking for like i don't know two or three days then we started talking again child and it was just like a little stuff. We would get into arguments about that type of stuff. Mind y'all, I had multiple like guy friends during this point in my life. Like I had like homeboys and stuff. But even my homeboys told me like, Ness, do not do it. Especially this one homeboy in particular. He was like, Ness, don't do it. He just want to fuck and that's it. Like, don't do it. Like he is a hoe. Don't do it. You need to stop talking to him. Like, stop. Like, he's not who you, who you think he is. Like, stop. Because, y'all, I used to give this boy benefit of the doubt all the time. I'm like, no, he's not that type of person, y'all. Like, I know on the outside he may seem one way, but on the inside he's different. I see him for who he really is, y'all. Being a dumb bitch. Being a dumb bitch. A dummy. That's who I was being. That's what I was being dumb. So I'm like, no, he's not like that, y'all. Like, I, no, no, y'all don't know him like I know him. Y'all know them type of girls. You don't know him like I know him. Yes, that was me at that point. <laughs> Very low time in my life. Very low time in my life. But yeah, we stopped talking. Then we started talking again. Okay, woo. And then, mind y'all, on my Snapchat, I, snap, I, I was on Snapchat all the time, especially my senior year of high school. Like, I was on Snapchat all the time. Like, all the time. So... I would post me and my homeboys sometimes. I always take pictures with them or like video videotaping us together or something, just something. And he will always get mad like, why you hang around so many boys? Why you around them? You don't need to be around them. I'll just, just being jealous and like hateful and just like really weird about it and didn't like me like around other boys or whatever. Mind y'all, I had, again, I had multiple homeboys. A lot of them are just friends to this day. Like, nothing happened. We're just friends. Some of them. So, <laughs> so I'm like, bro, you tripping. It's not that big of a deal. And yeah, he just stayed going off about that shit. Past my birthday and after that picture incident and us started talking back again, I was just tired. That was my last go around with him. I was tired of him. I'm like, he got to go. He's not treating me right. He's very disrespectful. He likes to make jokes. And y'all, he really wasn't joking. He just liked to cover it up as a joke, but he was dead ass serious and he was being very disrespectful. A lot of times he was being very disrespectful. So I remember this, it was like September the 25th, 26th, something like that. I remember that day because I took pictures right after him and I got into this last argument. So um, I just basically went off on him. I was like, you're childish, you're this, you're that, and you're getting on my fucking nerves. Like, I just basically called him childish and he laughed at me. He was like, bro, you tripping? He just was laughing the whole time, thinking this shit was a joke. But yeah, I went off. I was like, you childish, you this, you that. How you, I'm not gonna air out his business. How you doing this, but you doing that? Like, that don't make no sense. Woo, 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 woo. Like, all just, all types of shit. Just, I just, I just was tired. I was just tired of him, okay? After that, we stopped talking because usually, y'all, uh, we would get into arguments and then I would talk, eventually I would cave in. But this, and this time he thought I was gonna cave in again, but I was like, fuck no, fuck that shit. Like, I'm done. So at this point, I still have him, have him on Snapchat and I still look at some of his snaps. He was on fall break. We was on um Thanksgiving break. I remember that much. We was on Thanksgiving break and I saw him post a picture of his girlfriend at the time or whatever. Mind y'all, my birthday's in September. So at the end of September, you, I don't want to be in a relationship. I don't want to do that. Oh yeah, that's what we had an argument about. Basically, I called him childish and he was like, I don't want to be in a um, relationship. You pressuring me to be in a relationship, which that is kind of true. I give him that. Um, he was like, I just came out of a serious relationship. I don't want to be in a relationship again. Woo, 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 woo. And I'm just like, it don't, but it doesn't take you five six months to like for you to realize oh yeah i want to be with this person and i just felt like he was wasting he was wasting my time i'm not i wasn't wrong about that he was very much so wasting my time like if you don't want to be with me just say hey i don't want to be with you so i can move on because i spent that time with him when i could have been with somebody else doing other things with somebody else babe like stop fucking playing with me I'm mad because it's like you just said to me a month and a half ago 
that you didn't want to be in a relationship. You just got out of a serious relationship and you never ever going to be in a relationship or you're not going to be in a relationship right now. You need a couple more months to be single. Ah, all this bullshit. But then randomly you post some girl that's your girlfriend randomly in November. Nigga, what? Do I look stupid to you? Dumb shit. I was doing pick me girl shit. Yeah, I was a pick me type of bitch at that point in my life. Oh, thank goodness I've moved away from that. So I was posting pictures, doing little shit just to get his attention. Never really got it, obviously. So my one of my homeboys, he was like, either I hit him up or he hit me up. He was like, what the fuck are you talking about, dog? And I just told him, I'm like, look, this is what happened with me and Chris. Da 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 happened. And then, um, yeah, me and him st literally stayed on the, he stayed on the phone with me that whole entire day until the next day the whole day and he just basically told me and if i can find the messages i'm gonna put them right here but he just was like like a boy like him does not deserve a girl like you he ain't shit he ain't never gonna be shit i tried to tell you that like stop don't be in your feelings there's nothing to be in your feelings about you feel how you feel but he ain't shit he ain't never gonna be shit stop fucking with niggas that ain't shit i tried to tell you and i really needed that because it's like yeah he ain't shit and he ain't never gonna be shit and you damn right he don't fucking deserve me math ain't math Okay, shit not adding up. You had to be talking to her while you was talking to me. It just had to happen. Like, we had to cross over at some point. Like, it just had to happen. Yeah, y'all, that's basically the end of that. And later on, I found out that basically the hoes of the hill had a bet or bets on different girls. So let's say, for instance, you have a girl, Michaela, another girl, Tiana, another girl, um shelly another girl shelby they will all have different bets on one of them and like oh i bet i can fuck or i bet i can smash on shelly tiana and shelby i bet you they'll let me hit literally y'all and then once they did hit because some of them did get the cookies they would conjure up again at the brother's house and they would sit there and talk shit about all the girls but I didn't know this while talking to him. I found this out after because I, was, I wasn't I was talking to, but I was conversating with, if you will, with another dude that was new to the school that at this point associated himself with the hoes of the hill. And he told me what they would do when they would be at their brother's house. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's, again, why niggas ain't shit. He was a whole motherfucking hoe. And um, he's a fuck boy. And he ain't never gonna be shit. And to that little group of motherfucking friends, I, bitch, y'all are motherfucking lucky. I didn't know what I motherfucking knew today. If I would have known what I knew today, bitch, I would have aired all y'all motherfucking shit out. All y'all shit out. Because y'all ain't shit and y'all ain't never gonna be shit. But the lesson that I did learn with dealing with him is don't let nobody treat you like shit. Like, do not let these men or these women or whoever you decide to date or talk to or whatever, don't let them treat you like shit. When you get that first red flag that, huh, that was kind of weird, you need to end shit right then and there, period. That's one lesson. And then the second lesson I learned is you should not have to question yourself. You should not have to be like, hmm, I wonder if he likes me. But I really haven't asked that question in three years. Because everybody that has made it a point, hey, Vanessa, I like you, they show me they like me through their actions. They talk to me, and I know for a fact they like me. You feel what I'm saying? I don't have to ask, I wonder if they like me. I wonder if da 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 No, I don't have to do that. You feel what I'm saying? So if a person really fucks with you heavy, they're gonna, you're going to know. You, you don't have to ask the question. You won't have to ask yourself, oh, does this mean that they like me? Does this mean that they like me? You do not have to ask yourself that when a motherfucker really fucks with you heavy. So that's the two lessons that I learned with him. Oh, that's my fuckboy story. Um... <sighs> Make sure you like this video. This was some good ass content. Also, subscribe to my channel. You like me and all my content. Also, comment down below. Um, let me know if y'all fuck boy stories and what happened with you. And what's my story really that bad? Or are you like, girl, that's just that ain't that ain't that bad. Let me know about your fuck boy story time because I feel like everybody can relate to a fuck boy because they're everywhere. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. They told PF me to be good dot dot I'm out this they, bitch they told me to be good. Ah!